Hey friends, the Windows 23 H2 build for Windows 11 has been launched and it introduces a lot of features. So if you wish to know the best features for this build, I will help you with them. The first feature is the Copilot preview. So uh, you can find the Copilot icon here. And uh, in this Copilot icon, you can check whether you want it to be more creative or more precise or more balanced and then ask anything. So who am I? Let's see how it responds. It will give a response and that response would be similar to chat GPT response. So the best part about this Copilot preview is that unlike chat GPT, it is connected to the internet. So it is a little better than chat GPT, but people may have their own experience. If you wish to disable Copilot or at least remove it from the taskbar here, then right click on the task manager and select task bar settings and turn the switch off for Copilot. Now the second improvement is when you right click on the start button and select settings. So in the settings menu, unlike earlier, you have a home page. And when you go to the home page, which is actually the default page, you'll find all the recommended settings here, Bluetooth devices here. You can uh, personalize your system easily. For example, if you were to change your desktop background to the default background, you can do it all easily. The third one is a new feature, which is volume mixer. It's not a new feature, but it is a new method to approach it. We open the system tray here and then we have this icon. And this is the icon for the sound output. And when you scroll down below, you'll find the volume mixer. The fourth feature is the remove background option in Microsoft Paint. So I'll open Paint. Or better than opening Paint, I'll simply open a picture of mine in Paint. Open with Paint. So I need to remove the background for this image. And uh, as you can see, that paint has changed uh, quite significantly. Now the images are in the center. They are not on the left corner. So all you need to do is you'll find this option here to remove background. Click on it and wait for the magic. The background has been removed and it is similar to what remove.bg does. And uh, it, is, it is a welcome change. The next option is that the file explorer has been improved significantly. So I'll show you what has been improved in the file explorer. Instead of quick access, we have the home page gallery here and we have this home icon here and the menu is better. The uh, appeal is better. The graphics are better and we have this detailed tabs. For example, if I select this option and click on details, it will give me all the details of this image. I can share it directly from the file explorer window and I can email it to anyone I want or I can also change the sharing settings. The next option is that it has added a lot more options for archives. For example, earlier we knew that we can always open a zip folder by right clicking on it and select extract files. But the new option that has been added includes a lot more formats for which we needed tools like 7-zip and uh, that RAR file uh, option and a few online tools. But now it has all been included in Windows itself. The next option is the Windows Backup app. So uh, for the Windows Backup app, I'll simply show you. Type Windows Backup and you'll find the Windows Backup application. Now this Windows Backup application is excellent and I'll tell you why. Because earlier you would need a third party system drive or you would need to do it through a cumbersome procedure through the control panel. But now you have a separate app and you can also backup certain files and certain settings directly to OneDrive. By default it was only for the documents folder and the pictures folder and the desktop but now you can choose a lot more options here. As you can see, these three are already backed up, but you can choose a lot more options. You can back up apps, you can back up settings, you can back up credentials and everything. The next option is that you can find the Wi-Fi password through settings itself. So we'll go to the settings menu. We'll go to network and internet. We'll go to Wi-Fi. We'll see uh, the available networks. And if any network is connected here, we can check its password directly. Just a minute. We can click on view Wi-Fi security key. 
and he has my Wi-Fi password. You cannot use it because you don't know my location. But this is how one can view a Wi-Fi password. And other than this, we have uh, one more option that I would like to discuss, and that is dynamic lighting. So you can simply search for dynamic lighting. So it is in systems, you can open this. And these are all the features for dynamic lighting. You can change these features or modify them accordingly. You can change the brightness of the system and you can change the effects from solid color to rainbow to gradient and all. And uh, this will be very helpful in customizing your system's graphics. If there is any doubt, then please let us know in the comment section. If you liked this video, then please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.